Today we're reviewing, looking at, unboxing, and just kind of testing a gaming laptop. Uh, what we're looking at is not a high-end gaming laptop or a gaming desktop, it's a affordable gaming laptop that you could probably play some really good mainstream titles, uh, definitely League of Legends, you know, other or low spec requirement games. This is a Black Friday deal, I believe, but it's a good price nonetheless. It's it's currently $600 at Best Buy. I believe it's originally a seven to $800 laptop. It is a 15 inch laptop and it is obviously by Asus, which is their tough gaming series. So let's open it. First thing is we open it and funky cardboard is here. Nothing, just kind of make it look a little nicer. We got some cardboard and then we have our laptop. Probably some quick start manuals, warranty information. It's like a second, I don't know if you can see that, it's like a second drive connector. So it must be so you can add a secondary drive with additional screws, power brick and power cord. And now we get into the actual laptop itself. I don't mind this kind of, it reminds me of like some of the razor blades uh, laptops when those were first coming out. That's a nice clean look and it's got, you know, venting and some kind of cool honeycomb stuff. Um, yeah, let's check it out. Tough gaming, kind of everywhere. It's, it's not a very heavy laptop. Like, it doesn't feel cheap. It just feels light. It's not like a really, really cheap keyboard. It actually feels decent. Maybe. Hey, does have the Windows laptop fan ramping. Hi there, I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. A little signing. Okay, so what we're dealing with is a 1650 Ti graphics card. Uh, for a laptop of this price, graphics card, it's going to do really good light gaming. Uh, Photoshop, some video editing. What I'm surprised by is that the i5, even though it's a 10300H, which is a terrible naming scheme, is a quad core with hyper threading. So it actually has eight threads with four cores running at like 2.7 200, gigahertz. Um, it's not gonna be the fastest CPU, but for eight threads on a $600 laptop, that wasn't possible two years ago. I'm definitely curious to see what it does for video editing. Uh, just simple rendering and Photoshop editing too. Um, for gaming, the eight threads isn't gonna really do a lot. Okay, so what's really great is you still have an ethernet port or RJ45, basically wired internet and it has HDMI out so you can plug in a monitor and keyboard and mouse. Uh, two USB 3.0 ports, a USB Type-C 3.2 port, which is gonna be faster, it's the, and a headphone jack. Around on the other side, which is interesting, is one singular USB port, I'm guessing for a mouse, which is really smart to not have all the IO on one side, but I would have liked to have seen it farther back because if you're, if you're gaming, your mouse is gonna be right here and that's where the port is. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. There's 11 screws in this laptop. RAM slot here and a second one underneath that is open. So we can simply change from eight gigs to 16 by adding one RAM stick, which is really great for the future. The battery is a little on the small side, but that's also so you can add this secondary drives. No way, is that another? So this is the, the drive slot, the M.2 that the original is in. They have another PCIe SSD slot for an M.2 drive. So you could add two M.2 drives and a normal two and a half. Mm -hmm. 
Lastly, we're going to go and do some Photoshop work and some video editing and maybe a little gaming, see how long the battery life lasts, see if there's anything that happens with it being on battery versus plugged in. Okay, we are officially outside to test the battery life and usability of a laptop that's a gaming laptop. I don't believe it's going to be great. It's too thin and light to have a great battery life and be a gaming machine. So my guess is we're not going to see great battery life. But I would love to be surprised. I started timer. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Starting a timer with Timular. We'll talk about that later. So it's saying that I'm only going to get a 52 minutes out of this. It's half, not even halfway done rendering. I believe we're done rendering. Blamo. So, total time, 8.36. Okay, the battery has died at 59 minutes and 12 seconds. Not off from what it was projected but that's terrible battery life for gaming or using to video edit so be next to an outlet we're gonna go now yeah have a good night Things we've learned, just things we have learned about this F15 tough Asus gaming laptop. It has Wi-Fi 6 uh, in a $600 laptop. That's crazy. Um, it's built on a platform that's twice as expensive, so you're getting a lot of expandability features to do um, upgrading in the future. The battery life is what you're gonna lose out on. If I'm gonna lose out on anything on a laptop, I'm okay with battery life in this instance because it's so much more powerful with all the parts that they put into it and let you upgrade that, yeah, I would like more battery life, but I can also bring around, I can put, you know, this was like 60 or 70 bucks, a battery bank with a power plug. I can put this in my backpack and my laptop will last hours longer. So I'm okay with the sacrifice of that. It's not really meant to be an all day laptop. It's meant to be gaming. It's meant to do probably small video editing task and Photoshop and stuff like that. So good job on this laptop. If I needed a Windows laptop that was kind of discreet, but a gaming laptop, cause there's nothing crazy except the keyboard, which you can just have backlit at white or turn off the lights. I would go with this. Um, we're gonna review other ones that are similar priced. I'm a really big fan of cheaper electronics So it's obviously not going to be as cheap as a Chromebook or some kind of faux laptop, but it, it's a fully functioning high-powered with some with some uh, caveats laptop for $600 Three years ago $600 gets you an ultra book that is terrible now this tough gaming laptop for $600 100% recommend. Uh, again, just need some sort of battery or just be plugged in. If you're not taking anywhere, it's a great laptop to be more of a desktop setup. 
Check it out, I'll put a link below for the Best Buy deal. I think it's a Black Friday, but it's something like an all month or all, all, I'll put the link there and you'll figure it out. Yeah, hopefully this was a helpful video. Like, subscribe, click the things. Tell me um, what you like about your gaming laptop below. Or if you don't like gaming laptops, that works too. Bye guys.